Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss one more concept in operating system that is disk scheduling algorithms. So in our previous sessions, we have seen the disk structure and how the data will be stored in a hard disk. And then uh, we have seen the introductory part of disk scheduling algorithms. So the computer system will be giving a lot of request, the IO request to read or write the data onto the hard disk. So how these uh, requests will be processed is called as a disk scheduling algorithms. So we have seen a lot of uh, disk scheduling algorithms. So first one uh, FCFS, first comes first serve and uh, the second one shortest uh, seek time uh, 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 first and then uh, scan, C scan, circular scan, look and uh, circular look. So in today's session, we'll see the first two disk scheduling algorithms. That is a first come first serve algorithm as well as SSTF. That means a uh, shortest seek time first, right? So without delay, let's start the session. So disk scheduling algorithms. So the first one is a FCFS, FCFS. So which is called first come first serve. Okay. So here the name itself indicates. So whatever the order the request gets, in the same order the request will be processed. So. The request will be processed in the same order they requested. Okay, so there will be one request queue, so where all IO requests will be stored in that particular queue. So initially the head position will be pointing towards a one uh, position and from that position based upon the request, based upon the orders the requested, so in the same order the processes uh, or the request will be processed. Okay, so here one advantage of using this FCFS is easy to implement, easy to implement, easy to implement. And second one is there will be no starvation. So no starvation because in the same order the request will be processed, there will be no uh, process will be remains or waits for completing its process. I mean completing its execution right so there will be no chance of a starvation okay but only one disadvantage is so seek time high seek time that means moving the head position from one position to another position based upon the request so that will be more okay the seek the position will be more the head will be moving faster as well as that may be more the seek time will be more okay so let us see an example so we will consider the number of tracks as well as the height position and the requests and how it will be processed in first come first serve see uh, let us take this example and here the first one disk tracks are 0 to 199 so totally 200 tracks for example and current head position is at 100 the current head position is at 100 and see uh, the request queue is 55 so that means uh, the, the uh, read write head should be pointing towards 55 then 58 then 39 then 18 so in the in the same way the data should be accessed from the disk right so these are the track numbers let it be the track numbers and this is a position now let us take first initial position is a hundred so here i have taken a graph 
okay so x axis all the requests so how many requests 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and initial position 100 so uh, let it let us take this as a request 1 request 2 request 3 request 4 request 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 requests are there so i have taken all the 10 requests in the x axis and y axis are the track numbers track numbers so what is the first come first serve the name itself indicates which request appears first that will be get processed right so initially the position is at 100 so so here it is okay then the second request is 55 this is the order okay this is the order of request so 55 immediately the head moves towards 55 for request to 2 so what is the request to 55 which is in between 40 and uh, 60 uh, i'll take here so it is not approx uh, i mean it is not a uh, perfect but it is an approximate right next 58 request 3 is at 58 a little bit more this one and request for 39 again it drops down request 4 it is a 39 next 80 still down close to 20 next 90 moves up it moves up to here Request 6 and close to 90, which is 90, right? Next, 160. Request 7 moves to 160. So here it moves this way. And then 150. Request 8 is with 150. Then 38. Again, it drops to 38. So it comes here and 184 again it moves R10 request 10 moves to 184 so it moves till here. So if you join this one see the request head moves in this way. So this is the graph, how the requests are being completed, okay, processed. So first initial position is at 100 and uh, the next request is at 55, right. So here you can see the first, the first request is at 100, immediately the next request is at 55, so the head should move from 100 to 55. So 100. 255. So, what is the seek time? So, which is how much? It's around 45. Now, the head position is at 55, right? Now, the head position is 55. Immediately, it moves to 58. So, what is the seek time? 55 minus 58 or 58 minus 58. So, forget about the negative week. Okay. So, 55 minus 58, the difference is 3. The head should be moved towards the three positions okay so backward okay you need not represent it as a negative or a positive so the backward three positions it should be shifted now the head position is at 55 58 then immediately it moves to 39 so which is a 19 okay 19 position should be moved now the head position is at 39 next it moves to 18 what is the uh, thing 21 result is 21 now the head position is at 18 and it moves to 90 so 72 almost yes 72 now the head position is at 90 then it moves to 160 so which is 70 okay and 160 it moves to 150 so 10 backward now 150 to 38 uh, which is almost 112 112 and 38 to 184 so which is 146 146 so this is the seek time okay this is the seek time that means moving the head from one position towards the another position so <coughs> 
so you can find out the seek time which is the addition of all these things so 45 plus 3 plus 19 plus 21 plus 72 plus 70 plus 10 plus 112 plus 146 so it will be 8 10 11 20 23 and 28 which is 8 6 so 2 2 plus 4 6 7 8 15 22 24 25 29 and 2 2 plus 1 3 4 so 498 is the seek time so which is very high so in order to process the 10 request the seek time is 498 so because initially the position of the head is at initially the position of head is at 100 immediately the next request is a 55 so there is no starvation so whatever the request comes first that will be get processed okay there is no priority there is no reordering okay that is most important no reordering no reordering so it doesn't change the order right so whatever the order it, it gets the request those requests will be processed okay it doesn't follow any reordering okay no priority also so that is the main thing that's the one advantage as well as one disadvantage so here the advantage is so there will be no process or there will be no request waiting for its execution okay here the execution means accessing the uh, moving the uh, read write head to the particular track so so no request will be uh, waiting for the uh, read write head right so because whatever the order it re receiving so in the same order the request will be processed so what is the drawback so uh, these many moves that means the seek time will be more the seek time will be more you can observe here so if the last request if you can consider the last but one request the position of the read write head is at 38 it should move towards 184th track so it have to move around 146 tracks okay so which gives a more time so time taking is more but it's a very easy to implement no starvation so this is all about uh, the first one that is a first come first serve disk scheduling algorithm so hope you understood and if you are having any queries regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you real if you really enjoyed the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much